So I'm here with a skincare video. I do feel like I look quite tired because I am quite tired. But I really wanted to do this video because I've been asked so many times about my skincare routine. So I thought I would do like an example of a kind of like Sunday skincare routine. I do like to keep things relatively simple, but there are some products that have been great for me. Nothing really fits me, hence why I've got a sarong of the bump not that you guys needed an explanation on why i'm wearing what i'm wearing but i thought i would just kind of explain what i'm wearing <sighs> because my trousers don't fit me nothing fits me so i have just washed my face so my face is freshly cleansed so this is something i would do on a day where i can just look after my skin so i noticed in the beginning of my pregnancy that my pores on my nose got really big because when i'd wear makeup on the occasion my pores would be just really 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 enlarged i got sent this himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask from the body shop um it is vegan and cruelty free it is quite intense if you have sensitive skin but my skin is fine with it you just get this kind of thick ish clay and it literally clears out my pores so i've cleansed my face after I've cleansed, I will apply one of these. Now, if you want a more natural product, I also wanna shout out this product. So I don't use this all the time. This is like extreme emergencies, detoxify my skin. This is from Sunita London. It's literally a lime turmeric face mask. And I genuinely love, love, love this. You just mix in like a tablespoon of water with the clay or apple cider vinegar. I normally do just water, apply it to my skin and it's a really nice natural face mask. But when I proper wanna go in on my pores, I do just get this bad boy out. It's messy, but you know, face, face masks are messy. Make sure I get my nose. I'm not sure when exactly, but my memory card ran out of memory. So I don't know how much you heard, but now the mask is drying. Now it's starting to rain and I'm in my loft and I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can hear it, I don't even know. Oh no, please stop. Calm down rain. I'm just trying to film a video, you know? So, so many things can just, I'm just gonna continue. I've just applied some of the mask here. The rain could stop at any minute because, you know, we're in London, so. Is I use this face mask only in absolute desperation. When my pores seem really clogged up or my skin seems like it needs a real declutter. That's when I draw for this one. Also really weird doing this not in the bathroom. So obviously I avoid my eye area because that's my delicate area. You don't want to be putting stuff under the eyes. Right in the middle of my eyebrows can used to get really congested, but I feel like I've decluttered that area now. Um, and yeah, you just want to concentrate on the problem areas and I like to do it on a day where I know I'm not going to be in the sun anytime soon because that would make my skin a bit more vulnerable to sunlight so I do it at night time or just a time where I'm not going to then be in sun and living in London it's not that often that I'm going to then be in sun especially in lockdown where am I going nowhere so we're just going to leave this on my face four or five minutes until it dries so the skin is drying the skin is drying and I got a lot of baby movement hello Hello in there. How you doing, bub? You're just always swimming around, playing, interacting. I'm so excited to meet this little baby. When you're ready, hun. Just not quite yet because I feel like I need a little bit more time to prep. So the thing with this is it is a bit weird to take off because you want to remove it gently. So you want to add water to your face. I won't be able to film it and show you, but you want to just add water to your face. Dab warm water and until it's slowly you never want to be rough with your skin and now that i'm on the other side of 25 i just want to be really gentle with my skin oh my juice is over there my celery and apple juice <laughs> celery apple ginger lime oh it's really just been hitting the spot with my new juicer i've just been loving it lately guys i absolutely love it okay i'm gonna go and wash this off and then i'll be back which will just seem like that to you 
You can see how much the lighting has changed because when I went to wash my face, it was raining and cloudy and now the sun is out again. So I'm back. My face is now really dry because that is a really drying mask. Um, so if you do have dry skin, it's probably gonna irritate you quite a bit. My skin isn't naturally dry, but that is a drying face mask because it's detoxifying and purifying my skin. So after that, this is a bit techy because there's different things I do for different occasions. So if I'm gonna use a mask like that, that is drying to my skin, sometimes I use the ordinary hyaluronic acid. I went to see if I had any of the hyaluronic acid left. I don't have any of the hyaluronic acid. Um, that would just really deeply hydrate my skin. Alternatively, I have this. Um, this is quite expensive. It's vegan, cruelty free, and it's called their Back to Life Hydration Serum. And it literally just hydrates the hell. I use like one squirt, just because it's really expensive. And then I just kind of Gently dab it into my skin. Uh, and that's just gonna add some moisture back into my skin after using a purifying face mask. Now, what I would like to say, when I'm not using face masks, which I use once a week, every other week, and I just go by how my skin is, if it doesn't need it, it doesn't need it. But these are two things that I also like. So first I have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Solution. So this is like a toner. So how I use this toner is after I cleanse my face at night, I'll apply some of this toner and then I'll moisturize my skin. And then that toner is just gonna lightly exfoliate my skin, lightly. Alternatively, I also have these. these this is the Pixie Peel Pads. Um, which is again, it's, it's a glycolic acid and you just wipe it on your face. I'll show you what it looks like. You get these little pads, vegan and cruelty free. And again, I use these at nighttime, not in the daytime because it does make your skin a little bit more sensitive. Anytime you exfoliate your skin, you wanna do it at nighttime. And if you do do it in the morning or the daytime, if it is safe to do it with the product that you're using, you wanna make sure that you're using some kind of sun protection. Otherwise your skin is gonna to be too vulnerable and we don't want skin damage. So I actually really like both of these. This is more like a daily toner. This is a when I feel congested and I don't do a face mask toner. I'm not gonna use either of those products. Oh, 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 hello, hello, hello down there. So I've hydrated my face with the serum. Now we wanna keep that hydration in the face. So I got sent this, which is from Sunita. It's called Brightening Skin Drops. Wow, that is all I can say, wow. Uh, I'm gonna apply, you just wanna add a little bit. Let's do this carefully, because I do not want to waste any of it. I'm just gonna add two, three drops. It is quite orange. And then, again, really natural skincare. And especially while I'm pregnant, I kind of relaxed on using too many of my products that have AHAs, salicylic acid, glycolic acid and because it's been locked down not that I wear makeup every day but if I had meetings or if I had to be on tv or if I had production gigs I would wear makeup but those aren't happening so I'm very rarely in makeup and it's just given my skin time to breathe so this is one of the natural products that I really love at the minute so the ingredients are carrot seed oil pomegranate oil sea buckthorn oil, rosehip oil, vitamin E oil, and turmeric. And yeah, I'm just a huge, huge fan of this. You wanna shake it between each use and obviously keep it in a dark cupboard. You don't want this exposed to sunlight. It's a really beautiful oil. My skin likes it. So I mean, those are the kind of simple steps that I'm doing at the minute, but I also wanna share some other stuff that I do also do. I get asked all the time about sunscreen, especially looking for a vegan cruelty-free one that's also reef safe and that isn't really toxic. And that doesn't give me a white cast on my face because a lot of the mineral ones do. There's a lot of products that aren't made to consider how it sits on darker complexions. 
it is what it is sadly it is what it is so if you do like SPF some people don't believe in it each to your own each to your own I like to protect my skin with an SPF there's two that I've been using this lockdown <laughs> they're both yellow that do not leave a white cast on my skin at all so I've got the Glossier Invisible Shield the other one super goop or super goop super goop is that how you guys say it this is the SPF 40 this is the unseen sunscreen I also have the big one for the body which is SPF 50 when it comes to vegan cruelty free friendly reef safe sunscreens that don't leave white casts on my face because all the natural ones they all they all turn me purple I look ill and these do not do that I promise you these do not do that I'm not going in the sun right now so I'm not going to apply them but if I was going to go and sit in the garden you know because I can't go out out but I can go in the garden if I was going to go and sit in the garden I would apply one of these to my face oh and lastly again I'm not applying it because I'm just trying to stay quite minimal just while I'm pregnant is the um ordinary buffet 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 what I love about the ordinary as a whole is a really really affordable product you can create your own skincare regimes depending on what you want for your skin there is that face mask that um, they have that I really want to get but I'm gonna wait until um, I'm given birth and breastfed and done all that until I try it like I'm just trying to keep as neutral as possible so on a normal day I cleanse my face with a normal cleanser. I then tone my face and then I then moisturize my face. My favorite moisturizer is finished, it's made locally, it's made in the UK. It's really nice ingredients, really simple ingredients. So I moisturize my face with that. And then on top of a moisturizer, I'll use an oil like the Sunita oil or any of my favorite um, face oils, not too heavy. Cleanse, tone, moisturize, oil. That is my goal. And then every other week I might do a mask like I did today. So that is kind of my skincare. And I also get asked about body care. I ran out of body butter. The body butters I get normally for, from Sunita as well. But um, I made a fresh batch because I had I found some shea butter left in the house and I used to whip my own body butters. I just got so busy that I stopped. So um, I made this one on my Instagram, which is a really nice consistency. If you whip it properly, you don't get that really heavy stuff. It's just so nice. So I ordered some more shea butter because everyone was like, great, we need the video, we need the recipe. It's very simple. Um, a lot of people do make their own butters at home, but I'm gonna, I ordered some more shea butter. So when that comes, I'm gonna share that with you guys. And it just keeps my skin nice and moisturized. I actually wanna show you a couple more things. So when it comes to body care, let me know if you want me to do a proper video on it. I keep it really simple. I use natural body butters because my skin likes body butters. Any shea-based body butter, my skin loves it. And then in the shower, I always exfoliate my skin and I use either a dry brush in upward motions before I shower, or I'll use like a gentle exfoliating brush or glove in the shower in circular motions and it just keeps the dead skin cells off my skin and I do that when I shower and then I use my body butter on top and then my skin like that is just a routine that my skin really really loves now in terms of oils because I love oils I do have a vitamin E oil which I add to my shea butter this is a vegan vitamin E oil uh, vitamin E oil is a especially good for broken skin stretch marks it's 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 like the best oil i picked this up which is new it's a stretch mark oil another thing in my pregnancy my got a lot of water retention that's actually making my body seem very cellulite -y. but i'm sure once everything settles and i get back to training that'll pass so this is a really good stretch mark oil i'll read the ingredients to you it's got sesame seed oil rosehip oil babal seed oil which i've also got my babal seed oil it's a really amazing oil really good for dry skin which i will also add to my shea butter mix but this has also got organic wheat gem organic avocado oil pomegranate seed oil grapefruit oil the 99 percent organic ingredients whenever it comes to buying oil shea butters you just want to be careful where you get it i want to make sure you've done a really good background search on the company that you are getting them from to make sure that they are cold pressed they are organic they are done properly and you're not getting kind of cheap oils that are mixed in with different oils because then you're not going to get the full benefits and you're kind of wasting your money and sometimes you don't know what extra oils are added so just 
my advice is just to be very mindful and very careful about where you get your skincare products from. My everyday oil is, what's it called? It's the oil you use all the time, Rachel, all the time. Use it all the time, all the time. I can't believe I can't even remember. I use it in my hair. I'm just gonna write it because obviously I can't remember. I mix that in with essential oils like peppermint oil, tea tree oil if I wanna make like scalp um, oils and stuff like that. <sighs> so, sorry if that was a really messy video. I don't think my head is that um, logical. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed learning about my skincare routine. <laughs> Pick up, pick up, pick up, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I do really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any video recommendations, if you want me to do um, more of an in-depth body care video. I will make the shea butter formula. I know some people prefer lotions. I don't. Um, lotions to me are a joke on my skin. They work for some people. They're a joke. You put it on and you're like, why does my skin look dry? Everybody's skin is different. I grew up on cocoa butter and then moved to shea butter because it's just way better. But um, yeah, so I will share that. I'm really rambling and I do apologize. Oh, I could do a makeup video. Let me know if you want me to do like my everyday makeup. I could do like a Q and A with it, something like that. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye. Normally Molly would be here, but she's not. <laughs>